Let's come to the reporting overview. So within uh, WebEx Contact Center, we do have the Cisco Analyzer. The Cisco Analyzer is the reporting engine of the WebEx Contact Center. There we can do real-time and historical reports. We can run dashboards. And um, of course, we can also export data into Excel as an example. So the reports are displayed in different kind of views. For example, if we have a table view like this, here we have a table and this table we can then export to Excel if necessary. We can also um, create bar graphs. For example, here's a bar graph of the handle contacts. And we have the possibility for real-time monitoring of the service level on all channels for chat, email, and voice. And we can see the service level for each of these channels. Of course, also things like what has been completed, abandoned, and answered, and so on. If we have an IVR menu and we require to report on the steps on the IVR, so how many people have chosen the option one in the IVR, how many people have chosen the option two and three, we can run a report showing this data as well. If we want to analyze where the people are hanging up, so for example, do they all hang up on a welcome announcement or even in a queue or somewhere, we can create a hang up report. And within the hang up report, we get more details about where the most people are hanging up. There's a live session tracker. So this one is going to be used to see how many sessions are going on now at the moment for each of the certain flows. So that means for each um, incoming call on a certain service number, we can create a diagram like this to see what's going on at the moment. In Analyzer, of course, we have also data about all answered or abandoned. Um, or rejected or transferred calls. And as you can see, also via all channels again. Let's make a small demo. So when I'm logged in an analyzer, I get this screen at first. So what, does, what it does, basically, it shows an overview of the system behavior at the moment. Again, we, ha we do have a rights and rules uh, concept sitting behind. So that means we can determine who can see this data. But here we can see the activity data and the session data. Also the same for, um, for, for example, for the conversations. Now let's start and create a dashboard. So there's a dashboard, which I can then run. So here we see a dashboard, what's going on at the moment. So we see how many contacts have been abandoned and so on. Uh, of course, we can also zoom in. So for example, here in this customer journey, if I want to know where are most of the calls? Did they go to an agent or have they been abandoned or handled by a bot? We can launch this in a bigger uh, view. And then we can see that there are calls uh, going to a physical agent or have been abandoned or go went to another agent or handled by the bot even. The same we have for the contact trends as well. So these are the contact trends. I can select them by, by clicking, for example, on a certain item. I can look on them directly or leave it in, in a full mode. Let's create a report.
So I have a report, for example, running for service levels. Here we have a report where we can see all chats which the, with the service level and answered and abandoned rate, all emails with the same, all callbacks, if I have a callback, for example, callbacks from Q, and also the voice calls handled. And on the bottom, we do have the total sum overall. And this report, for example, we can then export via Excel or a CSV file and use it for, for uh, further analysis.